Okay, good morning. Not really, <laughs> it's like noon. Um, I'm not feeling well, we're all kind of stuffy. Um, but I really wanna get, I got, we picked up this dresser for Cameron before we left on Facebook Marketplace. I had bought them, when we redid their rooms, like, I don't know, a while ago, I bought them both new dressers from Walmart, like cheap ones. And his dresser breaks all the time. Like the drawers come, the bottoms come out and it's super annoying. So I was like, let's get a, a real wooden one. But the only one I could find was like pink and it had heart knobs. And which I'm like, is crazy because then I spent money on like sandpaper and new knobs and sander stuff and paint. So it's like, you should have just bought a new one anyway um i'm gonna try to refinish it that's my goal today i want to get it done because his dresser is like completely apart i haven't put it back together because i want to get this upstairs for him so i'm gonna work on that today it's cold in the garage but it's not that bad so i want to just get it done so we it can dry and then we can get it upstairs so i'm gonna show you but it looks like i mean it's like a nice size um but again, right, like it's pink with the knobs and, but it's a real wooden one, so I'm hoping that it lasts longer. Um, I didn't get an electric sander, I just got like a hand sander and I kind of looked up online how to, what I wanna do to refinish it. So we're just gonna try our best and it's already been refurbished, she said. Obviously like it didn't come like this. My goal right now is to take all these knobs off and get it all sanded down. Um, and, oh gosh, it's not even a screwdriver, it's like a wrench thing. Oh gosh. Why do they make this so complicated? Can I help? the first part of sanding these down I think they look good enough it still looks shiny but whatever I'm not trying to be perfect on them it's taken forever I feel like um, over an hour I think some of the shelves like this one's all dirty some of them the shelf liner won't come out all the way so I'm trying to heat it I saw like oh use a heat gun I don't have one so I'm trying to use a hair dryer and scrape that out and then I'll get other shelf liner um, Honestly, in hindsight, I should have just left what was in, it in, but it's like flowery and girly, and now I've gone too far. There's probably like half of them. It came out, some of them, it still needs to come out. I'm gonna have Cameron come and do 
one more round of sanding with the um, finer sandpaper so then it will be ready. I think after that I'll probably just need to like wipe it down and then we can paint it. So I'm gonna work on this while he sands the rest of the stuff. Now he said his hand's too tired to sand, but once the painting comes, he'll be able to paint. That actually worked out great. Look at the inside. Uh, you just kind of, and all the rest of that gunk came out. You kind of just um, melt it and then peel it off. So it got warm and then it got unstuck. So you just, I just like lift it with the putty knife. Otherwise it scrapes off, but then I just would peel it and it worked out really well. after I sand it because it just says to paint them so I got like a wet a wet rag a little bit wet so I'm gonna wipe them just to try to get the like sand stuff off and then I'll I'm gonna start with the drawers and then I'm gonna try to um, paint them hopefully I can do two coats it's a little cold uh, out it says it's 51 degrees that's outside temperature. I don't know how cold it is in the garage here, but try this. I'm hoping I can get this done in just two coats so that we can get this upstairs and get his clothes put in. That I got this uh, Rust-Oleum milk paint. It says for decor and furniture, classic white. I got two of these. I don't know how many I'll need. Kind of looks gray.
drawers are done. I think they look pretty good. I think this first coat honestly did well. You can't see really much pink, so we're gonna let this dry for a bit. And then we will come back and do one coat. I honestly think just the two coats will be good. Okay, so it's now like 9.30 at night. I let these dry for a long time because I think I finished them around like one, but I came out here maybe like two hours later and they were still wet, like really wet. I have fingerprints. I put my whole hand on one of them. You can see kind of, I don't know to see if it was dry uh, and it wasn't so but they now they're dry I kind of want to just get it done tonight so that we they can be dry for tomorrow we can put it together put the knobs on and move it upstairs so I'm gonna finish painting it quick it shouldn't take long because um, I already did a coat so the second coat should be pretty easy I'm just gonna do these quick and then finish Harry Potter what we've been watching so it's been fun these are wet still I'm using white mushrooms, chicken stock, and bell peppers. So I'll set your pan with someone. Just pour some chicken stock in. And I had it off because it's about like it's burning. Um, you also are going to cut up your mushrooms. So, yeah. Okay, so I added some heavy whipping cream to here. Sorry, I didn't record it. And a little bit more chicken stock. So, and I cut up all of my vegetables. I cut up half a bell pepper and some, some mushrooms. So now, soup for a while I'm like I want to make some cream of mushroom soup so I have like this pancake corn dog thing for breakfast oh, and I'm also having some cream of mushroom soup stuff it's 11:43, so I'm probably not gonna eat so much so yeah so I just added some vegetable oil to these veggies and I'm also gonna add some salt, salt and pepper just to season them up I just got the bowl that I'm going to use, big bowl, size of my face, actually bigger. Um, I put plate over those, 
I put some onion powder and garlic powder in here. And did you notice how I'm not giving measurements? Wow, I'm a true chef. Um, okay, this does not look good. Stuff dripping over this. Gee. You can just put a lid on it, shake it, you can use whatever you want. I'm using this tool. Just a little bit of this Getting everywhere. the butter spread stuff because I'm too lazy to cut a piece and this will also be easier get a little bit if it will come out get about like this much oops you didn't see anything I know you saw everything in your butter. Okay. Then mix your veggies in your soup while your butter's mixing in. Get into the Do you have your soup? And I did not say mix the heavy whipping cream. I did not. it into your bowl. Whoops. And then take your heavy whipping cream, every whipping cream concoction. Get a spoon. I'm using a baby spoon or a fork, whatever. Uh, because I cannot find there's no clean spoons right now. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Just plop that sucker on there. If it will plop, you better plop. Boop. Get some more suckers. That good. And ta-da! You have cream of mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. 